All right, so let's have a look at separation of mixtures. And in this particular case, we're going to look at the separating of dissolved solids from the liquid or the solvent. So we're separating a dissolved liquid from a solvent. So a solute from the solvent. Um, evaporation is the really is the kind of the simplest way of doing it. Now there are several ways to this. You can do this either fast or slow. Um, but basically, you put your mixture in a basin of some kind, and it will evaporate the water. So we're, we're going to talk about water as a solvent here. Water is the universal solvent. Um, it will evaporate the water off as it goes. So the water vapor leaves. It goes from a liquid to a gas, so water liquid to a water gas. And this leaves the crystals of whatever is dissolved in that water. In this case, we use salt, but sugar and all sorts of stuff will do it. It leaves the crystals forming on the bottom now you can do it with a heat source if you want to do it fast or you can just do it in the sun you need a heat source of some an energy source of some kind but you just yeah you can even let it sit out there or you can do it in the oven um, however you want and that's evaporation so basically the physical property we're using is the boiling point um, now it's really interesting the water the boiling point of water is 100 degrees celsius Whereas the boiling point of salt, for example, is roughly 1400, 1400 degrees um, centigrade Celsius. So uh, water and sober solid are heated. Um, the solution is heated to a point where the solvent is boiling, not the solute. The solute is not hot enough to vaporize, so it stays in there. Now it's really important. Um, a limitation of this, for example, is that if this is bubbling, so if it's going too fast, those bubbles will lift some of your solute out. And you, so that's a limitation of it. Um, the solute crystal is separated from the solvent. Um, all right, so crystallization, it's very similar. It's very, very similar. Um, and the physical property we're looking at is solubility. But this one's also used not just to separate, but also to purify. So it's actually quite interesting. Basically, um, the salts are dissolved in a hot water at a high temp. So what you've got is you might have a mixture of salt A and salt B. So they're both mixed in water at high temperature. Now what you're looking at, we'll say here that B has a high solubility and A has a low solubility um, so they're heated up to a temperature where they'll both dissolve they're then cooled to a temperature where one of the solutes is less soluble so if salt so, uh, salt b has a low uh, salt a has a low solubility as you cool it down even though they're both dissolved at the high temperature as it cool it down salt a will come out of solution and form a crystal um, this crystal is then filtered out and the remaining solute is somewhat purified. In fact, they're both purified. Um, you've got purified in the solution here and purified. So this will be mostly salt B. And this part's really important. This solution, when it's filtered out, will be most, so when it's the filtrate, will be mostly salt B. Um, however, the residue, when it's filtered out, will be mostly salt A. It's not perfect. Purified does not equal pure. Um, now, I hope that made sense. If you have any questions, ask them in the comments below. We'll get back to you as soon as we can. And yeah, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.